Hi, my name is Franklin Bartol and I'm a recent graduate of Yale and University College London. Now I love salads, but sometimes I get tired of the same old thing. So how do I change up a salad without compromising on the amount of vegetables in the dish? A lot of us like pasta salad, but the pasta kind of replaces some vegetables. So today I'm going to show you how to make a pasta salad without any pasta. We're going to use a vegetable instead of the pasta. And what we're using is a spaghetti squash. Now that's a really good substitute for pasta because it looks like spaghetti once it's cooked. I'll show you exactly what that means. So you're going to start with the spaghetti squash and you need to cut it in half. Now it's not as easy as I just made it look, it's already cut, so use a really sharp knife and be careful because it is a squash, it's very hard. So on the inside you're going to find a bunch of seeds and some pulp like this and you got to get rid of those. It's kind of like carving a pumpkin at Halloween time. You know you have to use a uh, big spoon or a fork and just scrape out the inside until it's hollow like that. So you're going to see a few little strings inside but that's okay because that's the pulp and we eat that part once it's cooked. So you're going to want to cook this at 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 205 degrees Celsius for about 30 minutes. Don't overcook it because then it's just mush. We want it to be a little bit uh, crunchy for a salad dish like this one. If you were making um, spaghetti squash as a substitute for a pasta dish, where pasta is usually you know, really soft, then you could cook it a little bit longer. So for this dish, about 30 minutes. You'll know it's done when you can insert a fork and it hits the, the outside skin. So all of the pulp is cooked all the way through. And the way that you cook it, you want to put it in a baking tray or something like this and put it upside down. This way this traps all of that moisture that's inside the squash is trapped so it won't dry out as it cooks. And I'll show you what it looks like when it's cooked. You can actually see a little bit that the pulp is already in strings and it's browned lightly on the edges showing that it's really well cooked. And I'll show you now why it's called spaghetti squash. It's really neat. You just take a fork like this and you scrape the inside of the pulp and you see it comes off in these strings. They're like spaghetti. So great substitute for spaghetti in any dish. And this actually produces a lot of pulp. There's a lot of food in there. You hollow it out until you literally just have the skin like that. So you can go right down to the skin and this is how much spaghetti squash I got just from half. So this is enough for a really big serving of salad, our no pasta salad that we're making today. So if you have a full spaghetti squash that makes enough for two full servings, or if you want to serve this salad as like a side dish, it would make enough for four servings. So now we have our spaghetti squash ready. You can serve it in a bowl like this, or you can even save the skin because it makes a bit of a bowl itself and serve it in this as something a little bit different. So the spaghetti squash, like most squash, is a really good source of potassium and fiber. Now we want to add some other vitamins by throwing in some other vegetables, right? So today I've chosen one red pepper and one zucchini. I sliced them thinly and I decided to cook them for this dish. Now a lot of salads use raw vegetables, but to be a little different, you can cook it and that lets you add some flavors. So I have um, some sauteed vegetables here. I, I sauteed them in a little bit of olive oil and I also um, sprinkled on some herbs that I thought would go well. So I chose oregano and basil today. So that's an advantage of cooking vegetables for your salad is you can season them a little bit with the oil and with the herbs. So one of each of these vegetables, that makes enough for two servings. So I'll just add half of these vegetables since I have half of the squash here. And both the red pepper and the zucchini are really good sources of um, vitamin C and vitamin B6. So we're getting some more nutrients in here. And now since we're using this as our main dish for the meal, we want to make sure there's some protein in there, right? So a really easy way to add protein into any salad, I find, is to use beans, already cooked beans. Now for this dish, I would recommend chickpeas like I'm using today, or some edamame beans. Those are nice too. Um, so half a cup of the chickpeas, that will do it for one serving, and you'll need a full cup for the entire spaghetti squash if you're making the two servings. So uh, the chickpeas are a great source of fiber and protein. So we already have a very complete meal here and it's looking really nice. Now we want to think about a dressing, right? 
So uh, balsamic vinaigrette is a great go-to dressing for really any salad. I wanted to liven it up a little bit today and try out a lemon ginger dressing. So what I did is I have um, balsamic vinaigrette in here as my base and I added some olive oil. So I have two parts balsamic vinaigrette to one part olive oil. You could use other types of oil too or fine like sesame oil for example. And then to add a little more flavor, make it a little bit different, I added some fresh lemon juice, a little bit of honey because those are a lot of sour flavors. We need to sweeten it up a bit so the sourness isn't overwhelming. And then I added some um, some ground ginger as well. And so those three ingredients, try one teaspoon of each at first and then shake it up, give it a taste before you put it on your salad and see what you think because you might want to sweeten it a little more with a little more honey or you might want to make it a little more sour with more of the lemon juice or spice it up with the ginger. It's good to taste, shake and then taste it again and see if you want to add anything else. So make it your own. And then we can just drizzle a little bit of the dressing on top there. So a few tablespoons is plenty. Um, it's a really powerful dressing with a good strong taste, but it's also light too. It goes with the vegetables. So now we're, we're all set. We can garnish it a little bit if we want. So some chives or green onions might go nicely here or any types of herbs or seasonings that you like. I like parsley because it's so easy to just sprinkle that on. And, you know, it looks a little fancier that way. Just like at a restaurant, there's always parsley on everything. It's a go-to ingredient at the end for a nice garnish. Or if you want to add some heat, some chili pepper flakes work well too. So now you have a nice complete meal, a salad that's a little bit different. And you can add spaghetti squash to your repertoire of unique foods in the kitchen.